By way of review, uh, we just covered in the last unit uh, the integration of tabular data or equations. And we talked about the closed Newton Coates formulas, and that's really what we focused the most on. I'm going to put a star there then. Uh, and we, we talked about the trapezoid rule, Simpson's one third rule, Simpson three eighths rule, Sim Bull's rule. Uh, these are all successively higher order um, approximations. Uh, higher order polynomial approximations that we use with evenly spaced data points to uh, to come up with a um, an integration formula and except of course the trapezoid rule doesn't matter uh, evenly spaced isn't defined for that uh, and then we have the corresponding open Newton Coates formulas uh, midpoint method trapezoid method uh, and so forth um, but we don't use those so much so I'm going to close that. Um, close that. Uh, then we have the composite Newton Coates formula. So we talked about that. The trapezoid rule is great as long as we only have two data points and they're fairly close together. Uh, but if we need to do something with that, we're going to have to successively apply it. And then, and so that is called the multiple application trapezoid rule. We could do the multiple application Simpson's one third rule. Same thing with Simpson three eighths rule. We can also have a composite of applying all three and then we talked about multivariate uh, Newton Coates integration we talked about um, truncation error uh, with Newton Coates formulas and so this was all then in the context of integration with tabular data now the next topic so I'm going to close that next topic that we're going to cover in this uh, section is the integration of equations. So this is the next chapter, chapter 22, the integration of equations. So whereas we had tabular data before or, or equations, in this case we have access to the equations. So we don't have to, so we can do things that we couldn't do if we only had tabular data. So we're going to talk first about Romberg inter integration, uh, then we're going to cover adaptive integration, which is a, an intelligent way of, of considering uh, the behavior of the function, you have a, a smaller integral, you have smaller intervals uh, when the function is changing quickly and uh, the integrals can be full, intervals can be further apart when it's changing less rapidly. There's Gauss quadrature and then uh, integration methods that we can use to, uh, to deal with indefinite integrals.